Hi, Earth Science, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross watching. Welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today's reading is going to center around a third party situation. So, if you find yourself in a third party situation, this reading uh, just might be for you. So, we're going to go ahead and see, you know, what's going on in this situation. Uh, what will be the future or the outcome here of your connection? It is going to be a general reading, guys. Please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will be listing my email address just below the video here. Otherwise, let's go ahead, give the cards a shuffle, and let's begin. Three of Wands, and you have the full card. Both figures are on the edge of a precipice, and that's really interesting. I feel like you have reached a very pivotal, a very significant point in your connection. It feels like it's a make or break, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm, definitely a turning point. Okay. We've got two and three of wands here. Okay, so look, there's definitely a bit of an imbalance, right? Maybe there is the act of a third party situation that has disrupted the balance. And the flow of your connection here maybe your person was someone who was always you know involved here in a marital relationship or you know was attached to someone else and then along came you and the both of you you know develop feelings for one another it just feels like with whatever you have going on in your connection there's room for this to be more but unfortunately i do feel like there's you know a bit of a scattered energy as well i feel like your person is coming across as a bit of a non-committal type of energy. So they're not fully committed to you, just as they're not really committed to their person here as well. So they're kind of in between, they're straddling the fence, and it's not fair to you. It's also not fair to this third party, you know, energy as well, because it just feels like they're neither he, they're not neither there. They kind of want to have their cake and they want to eat it too. And the more that you're allowing this or tolerating this, the more that you're sort of kind of enabling this behavior as well. Um, I do feel like there's going to be like, I do feel like right now it's like you're on the edge of a precipice. What happens next is absolutely important because not only is it going to set the tone for the future of your relationship, but you will decide, you know, what exact, what will be the future of this connection, this relationship here. I do get a message that if you guys are wanting to work on things, I don't know if some of you are trying to fix something at this stage. This is like a fixer card. So I'm getting that if you guys had some sort of conflict, disagreement, altercation, the message I get for you there is it is fixable, it's salvageable. So as long as you both want to work through it, there's also two sides to every coin and pentacle. So really try and consider things not only from your perspective, but also from their perspective, because things are looking a little bit different from their perspective, from their angle. So you might want to consider that that as well in the process um yeah i just feel like some of you are getting to the point where maybe you no longer want to tolerate this situation okay maybe you feel you feel like it's feeling a little bit crowded maybe you know their indecisive nature or the fact that they can't commit to you or the fact that they do have commitment issues okay it's a non-committal type of energy the fool is very restless the fool is he doesn't have an anchorage it's very hard to pin his energy down he's always on the search or on a quest for something and your person feels a little bit restless they feel like maybe they're not, they're not emotionally available maybe you know they want you but they might just want the convenience of a relationship you know minus the commitment here so I feel like the both of you might not be on the same coin or the same pentacle about this situation. I feel like the both of you might want two very different things here. Um, but just be careful because I feel like some of you have been accepting less than you deserve or you've been tolerating here something that essentially has been damaging here. There is a new beginning indicated in the cards for you and a significant turning point. Either this connection is going to come to an end here because I feel like some of you are caught up in a web of lives. Your person here is 
you know, your person here isn't being very entirely honest here. They may tell you that they're going to leave the third party situation, but they never do. And they keep stretching it on and you keep believing their lies because they're sugar coated and because, you know, they, they, they sound good, right? Um, some of you, I feel like you are, you, you are a part of the lie here. I feel like you're a part of the equation. Some of you, I feel like, you know, you nothing that they say adds up or something about this situation doesn't add up and if you find yourself in that space it's because the truth is being left out of the equation here so right now you are absolutely at a, uh, at a, a very important stage of your connection because i feel like some of you are finally going to draw up some boundaries here okay some firm some rigid boundaries and you're finally going to Send the message of what you will or what you won't tolerate. And, um, you know, I feel like some of you are going to want to, for a decision to be made, for an ultimatum. You're going to put forward an ultimatum. But I feel like you're at the advantageous position. You are. And some of you, I see you reclaiming back a power here. You are on the edge of a precipice. So that means that either this is a connection that's going to begin. Like the two of you will have your beginning here. They may end things with their third party situation and they may uh, begin things with you. Or I feel like you may be cutting ties with this person here and you might be, be you know, setting yourself on onto a whole new beginning. Just make sure this with some of you, I feel like you're not look, you're not really seeing things as they are. You're seeing things as you want them to be. Some of you are, you know, it's really hard for you to walk away from this person, even though time and time again, you you tell yourself that this isn't healthy and, you know, you're being treated like an option, not a priority, and you're going to walk away from this person, but you never do. That's because what makes it really hard for you and, you know, what makes you stay is the illusion Okay, the false narrative that you tell yourself that they're going to change one day or they're going to pick you or that, you know, the illusion of the life that you could have had or what could have been between the both of you. That's what keeps you stuck. But that's what you have to realize. That's all it is, is an illusion. It's a fabrication of your mind's eye of what could have been. If it could have been great, if it could have been this, if it could have been that, it would have been. Okay, it exists not in reality, but it exists in on a... Um, in the imaginational realm here so you know if you detach from the illusions then you will be able to detach and disassociate yourself from the situation and you might just find you know a way to crawl out of this web because some of you i feel like you know you you guys are really deep into this rabbit hole there's been there's a lot of layers and complexities and i feel like the truth hasn't always been hasn't always been served in this connection and some of you have been lied to whilst others have been a part of this equation you have been a part of the lie look past the illusion look past the glistening illusion and the, the allure of what could you know what this connection could be or what could have been because that's what's keeping you stuck that's what's keeping you attached to them that's what's keeping you staying because you know Notice the seven of chalices, they don't all bear desirable gifts, some bear undesirable gifts. So you look, you choose to look at this person and you choose to look at the situation and see the good about it. But what about the bad? What about their bad traits? Their, you know, their lies that they tell you, the way that they mistreat you or the way they treat you like an option uh, and not a priority. You know, the way that they have or continue to have their options opened. So you need to see the situation for what it is, red flags and all, rather than what you want it to be. So as long as you continue to, you know, see the situation for what you want it to be, then I feel like you'll continue to keep yourself wrapped up in this web of lies. You're romanticizing them. You're romanticizing them and you're romanticizing the situation here. Okay, you're putting them on a pedestal, which is instantly creating the separation between the both of you. I also feel like there's going to be, I did mention, there's going to be something very, like a huge turning point in this relationship. And that's either going to end things or it's going to be, begin things again for you. But in a new way. It feels like it's a new beginning, a turning of the leaf. But for a lot of you, things are ending. They're coming to an end here. Because you've noticed that, you know, you've been in a hamster wheel with this person. And round and round you guys have been going here. And I feel like this is going to hit them like a ton of bricks. 
Or is it them saying something to you? Them dropping a bomb, coming forward with a confession of some sort. Or this is you, perhaps. And this is really unexpected. I see someone being very taken aback by someone's real, like, very raw, very pure honesty and transparency here. Alright guys, and these are your messages. Thanks as always for watching and listening. Appreciate your support by liking, sharing and subscribing. Thanks guys again.